It is another chilly night in the valley and one that has smoke as well. Now, this is a very important point. Temperatures in the valley. Once again, for tonight, we fall into the 30s. But what I want to show you is some of those overnight lows, especially for the foothills. You're going to notice we're in the 40s. Compare that to the valley. We're in the 30s. What this is called is an inversion. That warmer air is sitting above some of the colder air that's locked into the valley and what that does for us is provides almost like a blanket, meaning none of that smoke can escape overnight. Afternoon highs are still in the 60s here in the valley as well as for the foothills, so we start to warm up ever so slightly during the day, but really it's having a tough time getting through all of this smoke. Ed sending this one in to our weather force at abc10.com and our hashtag WXForce10 that's on Twitter. Woodburn status remains no burning throughout the valley. This is the check before you burn season. As far as our fire outlook for uh, the next 24 hours, the highest risk is going to be in Southern California because of the continuation of those Santa and a winds, but those two start to back off. Then we get into the better news way out in the forecast. Now I'm looking at two different weather models. Both of them have different time timing, so wanted to take you through the experience of what I'm looking at. First of all, the European has rain on Wednesday, and then the GFS has it on Thursday. So let's play out the first one. That's going to be the European, and you can see we're dry all the way until we get to next Wednesday, and then, then shoots that rain and snow off to the east. GFS that's going to put it in on Thursday and hold it in and carry it out on Friday. Highs tomorrow will be around 60 for the Tahoe Basin, 60s for the foothills with our highs staying right around the mid 50s to near 60 for the five day forecast. 60s and 70s along the coast, we get to 60s again through much of the valley. Hazy skies will remain until we get better containment and that smoke starts to clear from the campfire. Our 10 day planner, we're going to hold it dry until next week and we're tracking that chance of rain as early as Wednesday.